not using diesel or gasoline or a tire because that's illegal <laughs> um, let me know let me know in the comments what you think alrighty everyone I've got uh, we've got a few burn piles around here from some clearing that we've been doing uh, as you can see we've got a little bit of snow left on the ground everything's a little damp um, I've got to burn these piles basically what my goal is is I'm gonna go ahead and start burning here I'm gonna get this good and hot get some good coals going and then I'm gonna take a shovel and move those coals to the other burn piles so I'm not having to start a fire from scratch each time now one of the things that I like to do is I like to start fires without diesel and without gas uh, first of all you should never use gasoline to start fires uh, it's very it's very very dangerous I had a friend that burned that got severely burned burned his face off uh, it was a bad deal and is what it was was fumes settled around and when that lit it, it caused an explosion he wasn't even near the fire and he, he got burned up real bad um, now what we're gonna do here is I went ahead and I got this pine log this is dead pine um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the chainsaw and I'm gonna I'm gonna start cutting noodles out of it as a fire starter I am gonna use a little bit of fuel here we could use you know if we wanted to we could use flint and and uh, you know flint and steel fire steel and get this started but we're not gonna do that my, my goal is just to basically start a fire naturally not having to have a lot of guys will throw a gallon of diesel on on something like this to get it going and actually I've had it where that doesn't even have success because it burns off and if this fuels wet it, it won't take and so guys will just keep throwing more and more diesel on it till it burns so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and cut noodles out of this split up some kindling and this is um, hopefully as a, a decently dry log it was laying on the ground um, but hopefully it doesn't have a bunch of moisture in the core this was a dead standing tree in fact this is uh, that one video I have where I cut the dead pine this is some of that so um, I purposely did not burn up all that for this type of purpose right here so uh, hey guys thanks for being here again and uh, if you like this video or you see if you have a tip for myself or anyone else put a comment because it's just helpful I've had a lot of phenomenal comments about chainsaws and uh, tips and tricks specifications all of that and uh, that helps everyone out so, uh, now if I was using that echo 620 I would have this zipped up this would not be clogging up because it has all that space in here this thing's clogging up instantly this stuff feels a little damp so we're gonna see if we can get this going alrighty so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, this fluff right here I'm gonna take it I'm gonna throw it right in here okay this stuff is definitely a little damp I'm gonna I'm, I'm curious if this is actually gonna work or not Now y'all, I do not want to chop down through here because there's, as you've seen in my other videos, my ground is complete rock. So, what happens to an axe? It gets messed up in a hurry. As you can tell, she's wet. Okay, remember guys, there's no, no gas, no nothing in here, just wood. Just wood and a little bit of propane. You could almost have done that with a match. Very deceiving. We're gonna see if this fire actually takes off. I think it might. So see what we're doing I wanted the wind to be blowing into this there's actually some fire down below 
I built it up above so that way air could get to it. Got a little, little bit of fat wood here. Let's see, see if that helps out. Ooh, that's hot. Right. So one of the biggest things I always do, everybody, is I actually never start with enough material. I always think a little will go a long way, and I'm, <clears throat> and most of the time I'm wrong. You want to consider that starting a fire without gasoline because we did use gasoline in the blower but we did not throw any fuel on there but wood okay this thing is hot there is no stopping this now now for everyone out in the west coast i'm originally from the west coast uh we've got leaves everywhere pine needles everywhere our wow that's hot i gotta i gotta come away from this our conditions are not such where fires start super super easy here even in the summertime because of the humidity um, it's just different we don't have the dryness you know i can burn here amongst the trees and, and not have an issue at least i've never had an issue but you know people burn um contractors it's common for somebody to clear an area like this push them all into a pile and uh push them all into a pile and then light them on fire and go home for the night um it's, it's absolutely incredible now this is going to burn good and hot here i'm going to have some good hot coals here in a little bit i have rakes so once this burns down a little bit we'll push all of the material in there that is real hot let me get this stuff away from it <coughs> and this is how we take care of our brush piles um, I'd say fairly naturally. Y'all, if you have any comments, if you could see anything that's better, that you would do different, especially if you've got a tip where it's not using diesel or gasoline or a tire, because that's illegal, <laughs> um, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, getting brush fires going, I mean, you can use a propane torch and just torch it, just like I did with that blower. Just blow, 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 and you can use a ton of propane. But this works well. I mean, look at that. You know, those, those flames are high. It's amazing. And it burns down quick. Y'all, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you being here. And uh, watch my, all my other videos. There's quite a few. I'm going to keep putting them in there. Guys, I also have one that's really cool. I know that some of y'all might be here for chainsaws more than anything. But I've got one where I hand made an axe handle. I haven't got a lot of views on that. I think it's one of my better videos personally in terms of editing and um, just, you know, it's, it's not running a chainsaw, but it is, uh, it's, it's taking a piece of firewood and making an oak handle for my boys hatchet. And uh, I use a draw knife and I do it fairly old school. So 
anyway um go ahead and hop on over to that video if it's of interest to you if you like axes if you like woodworking or anything like that so again thanks for being here you all have a good one Unfortunately, the fire needs to be over there because <coughs> it's wanting to blow that way. <coughs>